Last time on Sailing Bella Chandra, we finished up at Cambridge Key, swam with sharks at Compass Key, and then sailed on for Staniel Key. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a traditional and very beautiful conch horn, like this one, out of a conch shell that you may have found on the beach or wherever. This is like a traditional Bahamian thing, but I believe it goes back maybe millennia, I don't know. But it's not that complicated, but there's quite a bit you can do to a conch shell to make it beautiful. So here's a conch shell that uh, I'm going to prepare and make a horn, and I'll show you guys how to go about doing it. This one has a hole here where they remove the conch itself, and it also has a hole here where the Bahamian people had put a string through here to hold these together as a group so they could easily carry them. It's a very beautiful shell. It has lots of pink inside, so it's gonna make a great horn. Once you've selected the conch you're gonna make your horn from, the first thing you wanna do is bleach it. So you wanna fill a bucket with water and bleach, about 70-30 mix, and put your conch in there to sit in the bleach for about a day. Some people probably leave it in for less, some people for more. I found about a day seems to work pretty good for me. And when you're done, Anything that's in there, any like organic material or coral or anything that's stuck on the outside should all fall away and be gone. And you want to rinse it off really good, make sure all the bleach is gone. Then you'll be ready to start working on your conch. You make sure you dry it out really well. I just leave it in the sun for a few hours. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do with your conch is to cut off the end here to make the spout where you're going to blow into the conch. You want to cut it with the spiral. Just take the tip off there. The goal is to have a hole that's about the size of a dime. Cut the tip off and the hole is not quite a dime. You might want to make the hole a little bit bigger by cutting down a little farther. You can use a hacksaw to do this, but from what I was told and what I've seen, the very best tool to use for this is actually your angle grinder if you've got one. And an angle grinder with a ceramics blade. I mean, any blade will work. I have a ceramics blade. I know it's going to work better than a metal cutting blade on, on a shell. After you've removed the tip here to create the blowhole, you want to then take the angle grinder and grind along the edge here and clean up all the sharp edges here that might hurt your fingers. You just want to have a, like a nice feeling shell when you're done that's not sharp and going to hurt somebody. Is to just trim that off. Okay, now you want to bang out this little piece here on the inside so that when you blow the air goes where it needs to go. Make sure you are wearing some kind of protective eyewear in case little pieces go flying. And uh, the best way to do this is with a screwdriver and a hammer. Some people use a nail. I'm going to go with the screwdriver.
you can see that I removed the spiral that's on the inside and now I'm just going to clean up this edge a little bit. So there we have it. That's about ready to go, but that's going to be really hard on your lips, so there's something else we're going to do there. So now that your blowhole is finished, you're going to want to take something to sand the inside and clean it up. I use a Dremel tool with a sanding bit on the end. You can use this to just get around the inside rim of the blowhole and the outside rim, just make it nice so where your lips touch, it's smooth. And you might even want to use this to clean up other parts of the shell as well. So if you're like me, you're going to want your conch to be a beautiful object that you can keep on board, decorative, smooth, nice to touch and hold, and when you blow it's comfortable. And to do that, I use hand files, and I'm going to use some sandpaper. That will make it really smooth and get rid of all the rough edges and kind of give those finishing touches. And after that, I'll show you how to fill those holes in the shell on the outside. Alright, so in the last step is to fill these holes here with epoxy. Again, these are the holes that the Bahamian fishermen had banged through the conch shell. This one was made to release the conch from inside of its shell so that it could be, you know, cooked and eaten or whatnot. And this hole here was made in order to string several shells together on a, on a rope. What I'm going to do is fill these in with epoxy. I've seen people use Bondo and filler and lots of things but I think epoxy is probably the best permanent way to do it and I have some on board so that's what I'm going to do. And that's all there is to it and when you're done you might want to clean up the epoxy just by sanding it down a little bit and if you've got any art skills at all you can mask it with a little bit of paint like I did and you should have a beautiful conch horn ready to blow at sunset hopefully you'll have a sunset like this one Watching. If you enjoyed watching our video today, please don't forget to subscribe. Leave us a like or a comment. We enjoy reading those. And go back, check out our other episodes. There's about 50 odd episodes for you to check out. That's 50 episodes for you guys to pick and choose from. That's like, that's a lot. That's half of a hundred. And if you guys haven't checked out our Patreon page yet, you should go check that out. There's content on there that you don't get on YouTube. It's there so that you can help support us. So if you feel like, you know, giving back for all the work that we're doing making these videos, that's where you would want to do it. And, you know, just check it out. And if you want to help out, awesome. Every little bit helps. Thanks, guys. See you later. That was good.